Justin, uh, big game already. I know it's round two, but it sort of feels like not season defining, but you want to get goings on, on Sunday. Well, we need to improve. I, yeah, we didn't put our best foot forward on the weekend. Um, and you know, players, coaching staff are eager to see if we can uh, rectify that straight away. So um, come up against a good, um, good opponent in the same situation as we're in. Um, in front of our own crowd, so we want to put our best foot forward this week. And improved skills sort of seems like it's been a common theme. Is it sort of flick the switch? How can you just turn it around? In well, I, I think it is flick the switch because uh, I haven't seen that level of skill from us, especially forward to centre, um, for, for a while. Um, I know we've done the work over the pre-season. It's not as though we've neglected our skill. Um, we've done a lot of we've done a lot of it. So um, yeah, hopefully it was an, hopefully it was um, you know a one-off and. Um, get back to playing an aggressive back ourselves in type footy what do you put that down to was it being under pressure from Melbourne or just not handling the occasion or being ready what? well I think there's a, I think there's a lot of factors um, I think um, some players that we took in hadn't had a lot of um, game over the preseason um, a lot of uh, you know four or five guys hadn't played um, and coming off long-term injuries um, you know ground we hadn't played at for a long time um, you know you miss opportunities early and that puts more pressure on. So I think there's a lot of factors. Um, none of them are acceptable, and you know, we've, we've, we've discussed that as a group. But, yeah, I, I, think, um, I think it's easy fix. What's been your biggest focus in training? That's been your focus. Oh, uh, boy, yes. Um, and really, it's just getting back to what we've done all pre-season. And like I said before, we've, we've, we haven't neglected our skill. Um, all the players can still kick really well. Mark really well, handball really well, and do the basics. So we just need to get back to that. Key targets in attack are obviously thin as well. Alex down now, but Sean Darcy, does he come straight in and go forward? Yep, Sean, he comes in, he'll play forward. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate he missed out on game time at Peel last week, but he's definitely done the work um, behind the scenes. Um, yeah, and he just needs to give us a contest and, and compliment taps. Is it sort of a slow burn with Sean in the early phases, given, as you just mentioned, that the skills were probably down a bit because of blokes coming off injury, not prepared? Sean sort of fits that category yet again, though, doesn't he? Yeah, he does, but he, he has been able to run the last three or four weeks. He was ready to play at Peel last week, um, and we decided to travel him because of tabs being in a little bit of doubt. Um, so he's probably had the extra week on the track that some of them missed out on, and um, yeah, I'll just really peel it back for him and, and make it really basic. He'll he'll play forward but give Miki a chop out in the ruck at times and all we need is a contest and for him to engage his opponent. So I'm really confident he could do that, Rob. The latest on Liam Henry in that car? Yeah, it looks like he's gonna miss this week. He um we're a bit unsure whether it's a calf tear or a, or a cork, but yeah, we've ruled him out. So he'll miss this week and likely return next week. That's when form up rough forward, um, how much advice do you have for Sean on his thing? Oh, yeah, I've had a few chats to him. Um, and it's really just about keeping it simple um, and, and making sure he really understands the role and gives us a really predictable contest in the air. Because um, if I know he, do, he does that, he'll, he'll stick a few marks, he'll create a few shots on goal, he'll create opportunities for us at, at ground level. And most importantly, he'll help um, engage a really good defender and, and give our other forwards a good look one-on-one. -on -one. Does he have much past experience? Yeah, he has, and that's why I'm confident he can play there. He played a bit there last year. Him and, him and Lobby, second half of last year, we're, we're splitting the, the ruck roll a little bit more, and he got an opportunity as a forward. So um, he did hit the scoreboard second half of last year a little bit and, um, and took some good marks inside 50 and in in, 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 in in the front half. So, yeah, confident he can play that role. How was the selection process this week? How's it going to go with given the personnel? Uh, well, like any other week, we've got enough players to pick from. Really confident inside we're picked that you know, it's it's going to perform. Like, uh, yeah, we're going to be a bit shorter last uh, down back this week without um, Hamling, but um, you know we dealt with that all last year, so it's a little bit bit of the same really. Um, feel like we've got a forward line that um, can really function together well, and I thought our midfield was the best line last week, so. Um, there's no doubts around selection for me. Picked a strong side. Gentlemen, we know such a flexible player. What type of role do you bring him into the team? I play him, you know, probably a bit higher in the back line. Um, you know, he's played he's played that position all his Colts, um, all his Colts footy. Played it last week um, at Peel, the last two weeks at Peel, and um, has performed really well. I thought when he got his opportunities in the preseason, 
although you know he was coming on fresh later in games, I thought he really showed some. You know, he really put his strengths on display. Um, in the last two weeks at Peel, he's been able to do that across the whole game. So um, yeah, he, he's ready. He deserves his opportunity, and um, he's going to bring a little bit of excitement to the team. Where's Nathan Wilson at? Does he come into contention or even play? Yeah, Willow will play. Um, you know, he's probably uh, had to earn his spot in the side, um, given uh, you know probably a depth through the back line, and um, you know, he needed to get his fitness right as well. But really um, confident, he's ticked those boxes. Um, yeah, and he's ready for his opportunity and deserves it. So. Yeah, he'll come in. He he'll gives us a little bit of ball use and a bit of run and carry out of the back line as well, which is probably something we missed last week. Relieved with Josh Tracy's situation? Yeah, absolutely. It's a it's a great result for the club, but a great result for him as well. So he'll be yeah available for selection next week, and we we'll just see how that falls after this week. I imagine at the moment, I know it's a week in advance, but he's probably looking pretty good to take on Carlton, given the, the issues you do have in the full line. I'll get through this week first. I haven't really looked at next week yet. Um, judge every performance on its merits and we'll see what we dish up on Sunday. When you talk about skills, do you have to do you put the onus on the players this week to improve or is it is it a whole club club? No, it's I didn't don't, don't really put the onus on the on it on the players and any pre, more pressure on the players. It's more about trust. Trust themselves. Um, you know, if safe if safe worked in AFL footy we'd do it a lot more. But I want them to really back himself with their skill. I thought you know, we tried to be a bit safe with our skills on the weekend and place kicks and place handballs rather than just backing ourselves. So I um, want to get it, get it, get us back planned with a little bit more freedom and a little bit more instinct and getting our players to trust that they've done the work and and trust that they're good enough. So you're uh, bringing Nathan for a bit of running carry. Is that a trend you've seen across the, the 10 games or so so far that it is much quicker and that run up half back is important? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, you know, I feel probably... Uh, yeah, Youngie's been doing it pretty well for us. Got into the game, especially second half last week. But yeah, Willow, obviously, that's his that's his one wood um, as a player. So yeah, he'll give us a little bit of that. Um, I think most importantly, he's been defending better at, at waffle level, and his contest is first class. So um, that's probably something we probably lacked a little bit in our back half last week as well. That just that um, contest on the ball at times. So. Um, yeah, he's, he's a welcome addition. Just how do you come in and you see him come in and change how you use Hayden? Uh, no, no, his role will be the same. Yeah. How do you coach the confidence to take the game on? I mean, it's it's one thing I think we all say, yeah, it's great to see them pull the kicks and go for the skills, but when you're in the pressure moment, it's it's easy to go, oh, that like friend, let's just get it out there. It's a relief kick. How do you, how do you encourage them to take it on? Well, we do a lot of work about, around staying in the moment and um, being, able to, being able to let go of past mistakes, um, or past anything really, and just make sure that your next moment's your best moment. So we've spoken about that this week. Um, spoken about what they, what the players do on their best day. Um, and really, it's not not that long ago we were we were we were we were good with our skills. So uh, I don't think it's been a pattern, and that's the, that's why I think we can bounce back pretty quick. I don't think it's been a pattern of our preseason. I think it's um, a one-off. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm confident we can bounce back. Do you have an injury crisis at the moment? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, we've got a lot of short-term injuries, and I think uh, you know over the next two or three weeks, you'll start seeing our list um, become a lot more healthy. Um, it's not in the situation we want it to be at the moment, but um, yeah, I think you know two, three weeks' time, you'll, you'll see a different injury list from from us. In terms of getting back here and home and a home crowd, does that automatically give you a, a bit more of a boost? I mean, does it tra I guess, translate to anything on the scoreboard at all? Uh, it's hard to say. Um, I think if you start well, I think the, the crowd can really get behind you. And I think, um, you know, when, when you've got momentum in the game, it can really lift you um, and, and keep that momentum going. But, yeah, it's a hard one to quantify. Um, I know I know our crowd's loud and, and passionate, and we want to put our best performance out this week for, for them. Um, it's our first game this year in front of our home crowd, so... Um, yeah, we want to put our best foot forward. Yeah, you know, it's a good question. Um, having said that, centre bounce is even as, as important as, as it always has been. So, um, yeah, I, it, it's an interesting one. And I think, um, oh, I just think at the moment it's, it's round one. And... Um, or it's creeping into round two, and 
we're making predictions on what the whole season is going to look like based on one round of footy. I think um, I think the the game will change over the next you know six weeks, and if we're still seeing the same thing in six weeks' time, you know we might have to go a little bit smaller and, and run a, and and get a few more runners into the side. But I don't think the patterns of uh, the, the patterns definitely aren't there yet. So um, I'd imagine it would become a little bit more congested as the season comes on. Um, players get a bit more cumulative fatigue in them. Um, you know. You know, mistakes sometimes mean more as the season unfolds, and if you don't, you don't want to be turning the ball over as much as as um, you know teams are in the back half at the moment. So um, we'll just wait for the season to settle before we make any bold predictions on, you know, especially rugby. What did you, what did you make of uh, the Giants last week, and what, what do you expect from this week? I thought I thought they played a really good brand of footy last week, and you know were unlucky to lose in in some sense. They played the game in the front half. Um, they were really strong in the contest. Um, yeah, and they're going to be a formidable challenge. Did you lose Taylor yesterday? Yeah, he rolled his ankle, um, and that looks yeah, that's going to rule him out this week. Um, you know, which is unfortunate. Just yeah, one of those injuries where it's unavoidable. Just stood on someone else's foot in a in a ground ball situation, and yeah, yeah, it's nothing serious, but yeah, he's. But given it, he did it late in the week, it's going to rule him out this week. Did you, have you officially ruled out Sonny? Is he yeah, Sonny's not going to make it this week. Um, as you would have seen the other day, he joined in a fair portion of training um, and it all looks like he's on track for next week, which is a bonus.